some of my dudes of home care. And today, I want to talk about how Mahoyo knows that Inazuma is the last chance for Genshin Impact. And, of course, we all know if Inazuma fails, basically nobody's playing this game anymore. I personally, I love this game. Even, even if Inazuma fails, I don't expect this game to be good for another year or two. Because of how Mahoyo operates as a whole, how I've heard they've operated with Honkai. But, I digress, I want to get into Inazuma and everything Mahoyo is doing to push Inazuma down our throats because they're absolutely going to do it. So the very first thing that they're doing, if you guys don't know, they have a Twitch channel where they're going to be streaming on Friday alongside the Chinese stream that normally goes way live way earlier than the English one. They're going to be uh, showcasing the English stream four hours earlier than it goes on YouTube. It's at Genshin Impact Official, you can find it on Twitch, you can go follow, and that way you can do it. I'll be doing a little bit of a scuffy restream, I'll get into it um, a couple days beforehand. But yeah, um, they'll be doing a stream on their Twitch, that's the first and foremost. And second, they're contacting a lot of content creators to do restreams, to build up hype, to watch. They, as you guys know, a certain I'm not going to name him because I don't want him to get any more attention, but if you know, you know. A content creator accidentally showed uh, one of the contacts that they got reached out to, right? They showed one of the emails that they got, and basically, that's how we kind of know everything that's going on behind the scenes. The other thing that Mahoyo is doing that's really pushing Genshin, um, it's really curious how the Honkai Genshin collab starts one day before Inazuma's reveal. They know the Inazuma reveal is literally their last chance to really save their game, which I don't think, I think it's a little bit of a dramatic statement to say. Um, I... I think that even if Inazuma fails, even if Inazuma, which I'm 90% sure it won't, but even if Inazuma does fail, I'm pretty sure we're all too addicted at this point to quit. <laughs> pretty sure nobody's going to put it down, walk away, and go like, yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, I know there are some people that are coming back for Inazuma. I think that's what they're mostly aiming for, is to draw in the crowd that already left, because they know they have lost a lot of players in that sense. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see where they go going forward with that, but yeah. Anyways, that's basically the video. Nice, short, sweet video. Just to let you guys know that Mehoyo is fully aware of the situation that they are in right now, currently with the state of the game. And also, I want to pick your guys' brains. I want to see your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about all the promotion Mehoyo is going to be doing with uh, Inazuma? Do you guys think that they are pretty self-aware of what they're doing? Or do you guys think that they're still just going to make it to where, you know, six, <laughs> where it's like... Two weeks of content, then four weeks of absolute shambles. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. As always, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.